Greetings from the grave. I'm the killer king of Crystal Lake, the gore father, Zero Voorhees. Haddonfield's homeboy, the Mad Hatter Splatter, Jamie Myers, Psychopath TV, Horror from the Grave. Yeah. Did I forget that last time? No. Oh. Yeah. We did? Half of it. All right. Well, y'all don't know who we are by now. You remember your own goddamn name. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Let's kill it. Let's see, there's a lake. Shut your goddamn mouth. All right, here we go. <laughs> Speaking of lakes and water and suches and suches, Piranha 3D was originally going to be released in April, but Dimension, in all of their locking down decisions, have moved it. And Richard Big Dick Dreyfus he needed to wrap it all up, so it takes a couple months. It does. So the new release date for the new Piranha 3D <laughs> is August. Just August so far. August thingamabob. August sometime before the 31st and sometime after the 1st. And that chunk of month called August. It'll be in there somewhere. <laughs> It'll be in there. <laughs> all right. That was disgusting. And on Fright Night News, yes, the uh, word on the streets there you go. <laughs> is that uh, Fright Night is going to be ultra-violent. The vampires are going to be pretty crazy. Yep, ain't no sparkles, ain't no glitter, ain't no girl, ain't no Twitter. This shit is going to be brutal. So the remake of Fright Night, which I was a little apprehensive about because, you know, that's one of my... Well, please don't remake that movie. And then they yeah. come out and they say, no... See, we're going to remake it and everything, keep the story pretty much the same, but the only thing we're going to change is we're going to make the vampires more brutal. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, that's something I can get behind. So look forward to ultra-violent vampires in Fright Night. Mm -hmm. Put those Twitter bitches to shame. Just it's Twilight Twitter twatters. <laughs> and we've got Sick Nick updates. Yeah. This is looking like a Silent Night, Deadly Night ripoff. Straight Pro up. Probably is. Straight up. The plot is is that these uh, college people, of course, go on out for Christmas break. Snowstorm hits. They're trapped in this building. They still continue to party. But look out! It's Sick Nick! There you go. <laughs> I'm, uh... It I'm sounds gonna, pretty Silent Night, Deadly Night. -ish. I'm going to go out and say right now, I'm a sucker for a good, bad... Christmas slasher movie. Mm -hmm. I own almost every one, so... We'll see how it turns out. Yeah. We'll see. We're not going to cast judgment yet, but sounds a little Silent Night, Deadly Night-ish to me. This is some sick shit right here. This I, I don't even know why, but I guess it could be cool. A new Jurassic Park trilogy is going to be coming down. That's kind of cool. So uh, the writers and directors from 2 and 3 are getting together and they're going to try to, re not reboot the series, but just do a new trilogy. And they want to have the uh, dinosaurs more uh, aggressive, if you will. Okay, well, I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to Universal Studios in California and rode the, the ride there, <laughs> the Jurassic Park ride, but it made me shit my fucking pants. He, yeah. I talk about it all the time. He does. He it was does. a pants shitting experience. It's that T Rex comes out of the thing before you go down the and, thing, and, and poop came out of my thing. And poop. And came out when of you it. when it dropped down, it kind of went all the way up my back. Because of the yeah, a poop streak went all the way up my back. That she had to wipe it off for an hour. An hour? Yeah, at the designated smoking area. She's over there with the napkin wiping poop off my back. Those so little wet naps that come in this we had the package. Yeah, because we had to be there for horror nights. You know, I can't be walking around. All day and all night in the California sun with poop all over my back. No, you can't. You know you got shit on your back of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, hell yeah, I saw that fucking T-Rex. That's where it came from, god damn it. <laughs> you really should check it out. It's a fun ride. And it'll be a fun, kick-ass time. New Jurassic Parks, I'm down. I'm down. I just don't want them to take ten years between each one no, to come out. Yeah. Because by the time they come out, I'll be dead. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> extinct. Yeah. And so, so will you. Or murdered. Horror from the Grave will be continued on by some what? slapsticky jerk-offs. That... <laughs> My kids. <laughs> It'll be perfect. Michael and Jason. They just won't have our last names. Mm -mm. They'll have to... We'll have, the first we'll have to work on that. We'll have to We'll have to see what we're going to do with that. Cause that's, we can go... You got some nuts in your teeth still stuck in your teeth? Or what is that? Oh, she threw a gummy it's tarantula. It's a gummy tarantula. Uh, you got to watch out goodness. for those. You got to watch out for those. Come out of nowhere. 
Jackie Earl Haley has confessed, I'll call it confessed, that there still is no voice for Freddy. So it's not supposed to sound like a Scotsman anymore? Apparently not. I'll get them in that dreams. <laughs> I guess uh, a lot of people at the test screening... Groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> ...have been like, what's up with the Groundskeeper Willie deal? So uh, as of now, there is still no voice for Freddy... So the uh, saga of working on Nightmare on Elm Street re-rape continues. I don't know how you cannot have the voice ready, but... They don't. It's they don't. <laughs> it's Platinum Goons, so they ain't got nothing You ready. know, really, we rest our case. We really do. And let's take advantage of this time now, if we may, to respond to somebody who seems to be living in a one-by-one one inside of their own head. When we did our list... Our list... Regardless of what we think of Platinum Goons, Plagiarism Devils, Pussy Douches, the list goes on, it doesn't reflect how we feel about the movie's impact on the world of horror. For example, um, Smack Army, Christopher Smack, our homeboy, digs the Friday, Friday the 13th, 13th remake. Just yeah. digs it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm, I'm on the fence with it. I really am. I'm 50-50. Derek Mears did an awesome job as Jason. Daniel Panabaker was pretty good in it, too. Uh, the dude from Supernatural was above all right. And, you know, and everything like that. But when we attack the plagiarism devils, it's because we know what they're up to and what they're about. But we're not going to take away what one of their films does to the horror industry of the decade. And Hollywood in general. And Exactly. I mean, the Texas Chainsaw Massacres has its highs and lows. Halloween, Halloween 2 has its highs and lows. Friday the 13th has its highs and lows. And to put them on the list was for us to recognize that they did do something. Mm -hmm. And that's that. So don't call us a fucking hypocrite because um, that's just dumb. Because you're not listening to the whole faction or a whole reason. You're just going to go blast. Oh, well, you put three of the movies on your list. Yeah, because of the influence and impact that it had. Regardless of how we feel of the company. Shit. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. Good. I got a little piece of news for that ass. We didn't write down yet, but we'll just do it now because we've got a little time. We do. Go for it. Yeah. Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. And Tobey Maguire are not doing the new Spider-Man. So, therefore, the new Spider-Man is going to be a remake of the first Spider-Man. Get the fuck out mm -hmm. of here. No Tobey Maguire. No Sam Raimi. So, it's going to be a remake. It's not going to be a sequel like it was supposed to be with Carnage and all that stuff. That's out. Wow. So we may get that someday, but not not today. So all you Spider-Man fans out there, seems to be a hold on. Yeah, kind of sucks ass a little bit. It does. That's horrible. And oh. Lost Boys 3 is in production because I can't remember who it was that one of our, uh, one of our sub sandwiches sent us uh, photos. I think it might have been Supernatural Podcast sent us photos. Of Corey Feldman and one of the actresses that's in it, and he's all in the Edgar Frog gear and everything. So nice with Lost, the headband. Yep. So Lost Boys <laughs> Three is a go. And it's oh, already in production, go. or it might even already be done by now. But aren't they shooting this one in Africa or something? Or? Something like that. Weird. I'm not from Africa. You from Africa? Uh, African booty scratcher. I ain't from Africa. I'm from Crenshaw Mafia, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So as we've been. As we've been saying, we got those killer questions, and this week y'all came in represented in full force. A goth and cloth, Alex, my homie, my boy, yours got buried, and we're going to do yours first. I found it, I dug around for it, and, you know, I had to move some bodies out of the way and all that, but I found it, so we're going to get to those questions. A goth and cloth is up first. He was mad, too. I'm sorry, man. He's like, zero, I'm going to put my foot in your ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Keep the foot out of my ass. I got vegetables in there. We'll be back. 